you think that the U.S. or U.N. forces should have moved into Baghdad? No. Why not? Because if we'd gone to Baghdad, we would have been all alone. There wouldn't have been anybody else with us. It would have been a U.S. occupation of Iraq. None of the Arab forces that were willing to fight with us in Kuwait were willing to invade Iraq. Uh, once you got to Iraq and took it over and took down Saddam Hussein's government, then what are you going to put in its place? That's a very volatile part of the world, and, and if you take down the central government in Iraq, you can easily end up seeing pieces of Iraq fly off. Uh, part of it, uh, the Syrians would like to have with the West. Uh, part of eastern Iraq, uh, the Iranians would like to claim, fought over for eight years. In the north, you've got the Kurds, and if the Kurds spin loose and join with the Kurds in Turkey, then you threaten the territorial integrity of Turkey. It's a, it's a quagmire if you go that far and try to take <laughs> Iraq. The other thing was casualties. Uh, everyone was impressed with the fact that uh, we were able to do our job with as few casualties as we had. But for the 146 Americans killed in action, and for their families, it wasn't a cheap war. And the question for the president, in terms of whether or not we went on to Baghdad and took additional casualties in an effort to get Saddam Hussein, was how many additional dead Americans is Saddam worth? And our judgment was uh, not very many, and I think we got it right. Well, it's only a couple of years later, and, and as you know, the revisionist historians uh, have already been out, and some are suggesting that the war was completely unnecessary, and the U.S. didn't have to do anything. What well, do you say? I, there are people running around now who will tell you that it wasn't necessary for the United States to fight the Cold War either. That if uh, we had never done anything, if we'd never invested in military capability, if we'd never had troops in Korea or the uh, Fola Gap in Germany, that uh, everything would have gone swimmingly in, in the Cold War for the last 40 years, too. I don't buy it. Those are people who never supported the policy in the first place. They never, uh, never uh, understood what was at stake. Uh, and uh, I, don't, uh, I simply don't give them any credibility at all.